Hey guys, it's Anfield here. Uh, this is going to be a video that I never really thought I was going to ever make um, or ever needed to make. And I guess it's because it's on a topic that is mostly common sense to the majority of the World Sinks player base. Um, but there's still a minority that uh, disagree and will argue otherwise. So if you haven't guessed by the title of the video, the topic I'm going to be talking about is artillery. Everyone's favorite game mechanic. Uh, the reason I'm bringing it up now is because Storm recently did a stream where he had a Q&A and basically uh, they talked a little bit about what we can expect from the upcoming artillery overhaul, uh, which is something we all want, um, but at the same time we want it to be implemented correctly. So I'm going to talk a bit about what's proposed and what I think should happen. So before we delve into uh, all the upcoming changes, I want to talk about why artillery is bad for the game. Why is it a broken mechanic? And most of you will already be aware that artillery is a bad game mechanic, but there's still some of you clinging on to the fact, no, it's not, you know, I, I love artillery. I get to shoot people from across the map. Um, and also, uh, you know, I want to kind of talk to the people that are sort of on the fence or maybe don't even understand or too new to the game to really grasp why it's a bad uh, idea to have artillery in its current state of form in the game. So, artillery presents a number of problems for the game ecosystem, uh, which are inherently unfair on other players and such other things like that. Um, now, one of these things is indirect fire, which means that basically artillery can fire over objects rather than in direct straight lines like every other tank in the game does. Um, this means that it can defeat what might be normal covered for tanks. Tanks that are hold down are not hold down to artillery. They may be playing well against other tanks, but they're not safe from artillery. The only way to be truly safe from artillery is to hide behind a massive wall, building, mountain, anything of that sort is the only time you're ever going to be safe from artillery. So naturally, this leads to a lot of camping, uh, because in order to avoid artillery, obviously you, you don't want to move, because the person being aggressive is the person being lit and not in full, solid cover. That's the person that gets shot at by artillery. So, Serb would like us to believe that artillery is there to prevent camping, however it doesn't. You know, the TD camping in the back of the base is not lit till the end of the game, when all the advanced tanks are dead and been shot to death by artillery. Uh, these are not the tanks being punished by artillery. They're the tanks that should be, but they're not. It's the mediums and the heavies and the front lines that take the brunt of artillery fire. And there's absolutely zero things you can do about it. So, you know, if you're a heavy tank or a medium tank or even a light or TD on the front lines, uh, trying to play your game, trying to fight the enemy tanks, uh, there's nothing you can do to retaliate to artillery fire. You can't really fire back. You can some maps, you can blind fire certain positions, but it's really unreliable. Um, you can't you just go and try and kill them because there's a whole enemy team between you and their artillery. They can shoot at you at will and there's nothing you can do about it. And if that wasn't bad enough, you also have basically no warning when an artillery is about to fire because there is no warning system. Uh, this means that basically you could be playing and having a time of your life playing on these hills, fighting these enemy tanks, using a depression effectively, and then out of nowhere you take over a thousand damage from artillery from across the map. You have no warning when it's going to be coming. So let's just assume for a second, well, I'm guaranteed to get hit if I want to take this aggressive position and try and take the fight to the enemy. Uh, you assume you're going to get hit, that's fine. Artillery's going to get me, what can I do about it? Well... <sighs> This also is another problem, because even if you accept the fact that you're going to get hit by artillery, you have no idea what that artillery is going to do to you. Because you can't really effectively defend yourself from it in terms of angling your armor. It's going to hit you, and whether it's going to hit you for 400 or it's going to hit you for over 2,000, you're tier 10 heavy and you're going to be one shot. You just don't know, because it's all RNG. There is no skill in artillery. Well, let me take that back. There's a tiny little bit of skill. You can sometimes lead shots a little bit like that, but nothing else. It's press the left mouse button and for 40 seconds you're done. So, not only does artillery punish you for being aggressive rather than camping, uh, it also punishes you for being a good player because, unfortunately, an external modification to the game, XVM, that I'm sure you all know, allows stats to be shown in battles and what that does is basically it gives a list of priority targets to the enemy artillery let's shoot the unicum or whoever the best player on the enemy team might be so those of you that might be playing the game well you know well 
you're not going to enjoy the game as much because you know what, you're going to have a giant target on your back and there's something at the back of the map you can do absolutely nothing about that takes very little skill to operate that's going to ruin your battle. So if that wasn't all enough, by the time you've survived the battle, you've destroyed all the enemy t tanks, even while the artillery's been blasting away at you, and you get to the enemy base and you're ready to kill the artillery, they can also one-shot you by TD moding you very easily, in fact, in a lot of cases, because you either they have low hit points, but in most tanks, not enough to be one-shot by, you know, so let's just say a tier 10 medium can't one-shot a tier 10 artillery, they need two shots to do so. It gives artillery a chance to just blast you right there and then. But even if that doesn't happen, let's say you get the two shots, yay, 500 extra little bit of damage. For all that hard work, you get a tiny, tiny bit of damage out of the tank, you know, so it's, it takes away hit points from the enemy team that would otherwise be like 2,000. Uh, so that's experience and credits and other things that you've lost out on. So that's the general idea of things that aren't good about artillery. Why it is a broken game mechanic and negative aspect to this game. I probably missed something so let me know in the comments if there's anything that I didn't point out that annoys you about artillery. But otherwise let's move on. So Wargaming are confirmed to be working on an artillery overhaul, which is about time. Uh, we can only hope that it's implemented correctly. Now, some of the things that we've been told by Storm is that they want to make artillery more of like a debuffing class rather than have high alpha. They're going to make it small alpha, but do like crew damage and other things like that uh, debuff your crew. Now, we don't know exactly what that means or how it's going to work, whether it'll knock out crew members and do a little bit of damage, whether it'll make your crew less effective, like putting it down to like a 50% crew. We don't know exactly. Um, but the other thing they're, they're thinking about doing is allowing you to be aware when artillery is aiming at you, um, sort of like an artillery sixth sense, and also give you a general idea of where artillery is firing from. So here's my problem with this. As it currently sounds, crew debuffing doesn't sound like a good idea to me. It seems more random than anything else. Which crew member is going to be debuffed? Because it just depends entirely on where RNG sends the artillery shell. Um, this, you know, you could have your commander knocked out, your loader locked out, the critical moment in a fight with another tank, and that still is going to be a problem. So I'm not, insure, not sure I entirely agree with that. The second part does sound good um, in theory. The artillery is sixth sense, so it'll let you know when artillery is aiming at you um, and to know exactly, you know, a, a rough idea where artillery is firing from. This is a good idea. Um, here's my problem with the sixth sense of artillery fire aiming at you thing is because it's going to cause a whole lot of hurt when you have artillery constantly following you around the map. Um, as we already know through XVM, us Unicoms, we, we, I mean, we get focused enough as it is and even other players, you know, blues or whatever, or greens even, at, you know, if they're at the top of the team, they get focused. Um, you already know artillery is following you, but now to have an actual little thing telling you constantly that, I mean, I couldn't think of anything more infuriating by having that thing constantly be telling me that artillery is aiming at me. So I'm not sure that it's gonna actually be a positive attribute because it, you could basically keep someone down the entire time. Every time they poke out, aiming at them. They back up instantly without doing anything. Um, so I, I could see this being a problem. I'm not really sure. Uh, you guys have to let me know what you think on that one. So that must sound kind of pessimistic because I've you know, been talking about how much artillery needs to be overhauled. Now, personally, I'd love to see it completely removed. I don't think it adds anything to the game. and I think it could be removed and the gameplay would be incredible. Uh, you could reimburse the people that have exped and paid for artillery, but um, I don't think it needs to be in the game. However, that is never going to happen. Wargaming have worked too hard, put too many models in, HD models as well, to just remove it entirely. Uh, it's also too big of a risk, um, and they've shown that they don't really know what the game or the community wants, so yeah, they're not going to do that. So what are my solutions personally to this problem, because I can't just call down their solutions and not provide any of my own. So what would I change about artillery? Well, I'd like to see the alpha nerfed quite a bit. The fact that it can one-shot uh, an equivalent to a tank from across the map is not a good aspect of the game. The 183 is the same way, but we'll just stick to artillery for now. Um, you should not be able to one-shot enemy tank. You also should not be able to basically do almost all the hit points, or even a thousand plus is too much, I think. So, this needs to be changed. Now, if you're going to lower the alpha, you do have to raise the fire rate um, before they become totally useless. Uh, that's fine. You know, as long as their alpha is lower, their fire rate can be a little bit quicker. Um... 
But what you also need to do, I think, is nerf their accuracy the closer to themselves they shoot. So, for example, if they're shooting at the middle of the map where most of the fighting is happening, um, their accuracy should be kind of limited, um, not super great or reliable. Uh, but if they're shooting further away from themselves, say the enemy base, their accuracy is very pinpoint. Uh, and also allow them, which has been talked about by Storm a little bit, but he didn't really elaborate, uh, to do a little bit of their own lighting. Now, this doesn't mean make light tanks completely useless, but maybe like shoot like flares at a certain area from a certain distance. Now, this should only be doable when they're shooting at a very far distance from themselves. They should be able to light. Maybe you call it, I don't know, call it an air recon or something. I don't know. But very small areas, very small areas of the map, uh, about maybe two or three tanks wide that they can light for short periods of time. And that way they could, you know, light maybe areas of the base where tank destroyers might be sitting. For example, highway, when the TDs just sit in the base the entire game. Allow them to light that and shoot that. They'll be super accurate with their new accuracy because it's further away um, and they're lighting the enemy tanks. Boom, artillery's defeating camping but not defeating um, advancing tanks that aren't camping. Um, this would also allow them to counter battery more effectively, which would distract artillery from shooting tanks on the front line by spotting enemy artillery and counter batterying them. Uh, this would also discourage people from playing artillery. So those are my personal solutions. Um, I did come up with another, like, more tongue-in-cheek one where basically they should just allow artillery to play against AI tanks and shoot them and just let them use artillery in clan wars. So basically you XP artillery by playing against AI teams of tanks um, so they can shoot AI instead of tanks. But I don't think the service could really handle such a thing anyway. And if they're going to implement AI, all the puppies will be complaining, why can't I play against AI? Because people are too difficult to fight. Um, so... Uh, yeah, but let me know what you guys thought of this video. Um, some of you may love artillery and be like, eh, fuck you, Anfield. Well, you know, fuck you too, boy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but uh, let me know what you thought. Um, what do you think artillery should be changed to? Uh, don't say remove it because they're never going to do that. You can't select a solution that is never going to happen. Um, it was a little longer than I wanted this video to be, but um, it does need to be talked about. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.